Ask anyone who knows me and they'll tell you I'm a mess. My cable management is atrocious, my drawers are filled with countless junk I don't need, and my inbox is a war zone. But I just got a new computer and I don't want to go down that disorganized, stress-inducing path again. So here's how I'm setting up my digital workspace for 2021 and the apps that are helping me do it. Notion is the app that handles most of my workflow, so it's where I plan out these videos, keep track of big goals for nothing but tech, and also plan and organize a podcast. I'll show you guys how I have that all set up a little later in this video, but I want to tell you about something that changed my life in less than two minutes. It's called the two minute rule, and it's basically the idea that if you can get it done in less than two minutes, you should do it now. And it's helped me tremendously with keeping my desktop under control because I download tons of video assets and screenshots and all these other things, and my desktop was just getting filled, and then I would just keep pushing it off and procrastinating fixing it. But now, it takes me less than two minutes to organize each individual file. So the second I download it, I catalog it. And I have five different folders. So I have NBT, Screenshots, Digital Dive, which is the podcast, YouTube Inspo, and then Random, because I'm not perfect and there are some files that literally don't fit into any category, so they just go in there. It's better than nothing. Google Drive and Google Docs is where I keep a lot of the stuff for the YouTube channel, so like if I'm working on thumbnails with Geo, it goes on Google Drive and we can kind of add versions to this folder and revise, and then all the scripts of the videos I do on Google Docs. WeTransfer is a service though that I use to actually send files back and forth because it's super convenient and it allows you to send really big files. In the past, I had both iTunes and Spotify on the dock, but it was getting really cluttered and I almost never use iTunes. So I removed that from the dock. I only keep it to open up like audio files. And then Spotify is where I listen to all of my music now. And if you're wondering what I'm listening to, here are a few of my favorite albums right now. Okay, a couple more apps to talk about. Then we'll talk about my setup in Notion and some of the obstacles that I've had to overcome while creating this setup. So apps that I use on a daily basis, Discord for actually being in the dive discord since I'm an advisor for them now. How sweet is that? Final Cut Pro to edit all these videos. And then Motion because I'm trying to learn how to animate right now so I can make these videos even better. So keep watching the video as they progress because hopefully I'll have some improvement on there. I also have Photoshop and Lightroom, but I use those a lot less frequently, probably like every week. So enough to keep them downloaded on my computer, but not enough to keep them in the dock. All right, so with Notion, the possibilities are kind of endless on how you can set this up. There's so many videos on YouTube, it feels like it's almost its own niche. So I'm happy to make one in the future if you wanna see that. But for now, here are the three main things that I have on there. The first thing is a new video template. And this is a modification of a template for my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Ali Abdal. And the main thing here that I wanna accomplish is to get a ton of titles and thumbnail ideas down. So anytime I'm making a video, I wanna make sure that I have the most clickable and most interesting narrative for you. So that often means coming up with like the thesis of the video and then creating 10 different title ideas and a few different thumbnail ideas, trying them all out, asking for some people's opinions and then going with that. So that helps me organize it. And then underneath that, I have some storytelling reminders because with every video, I wanna make sure I'm telling a story and that every second is adding value and engaging you. So I'm kind of optimizing for that. And these reminders are super helpful. This is a template so that every time I create a video, I duplicate this template, fill in the information, and once all the main things are done here, like keynotes and things to remember, then I'll move over to Google Docs and I'll actually write out the video. The other main document I have on here is a shared database with my co-host and friend Darsh Kathani and our friend and editor Luke. And we use this to keep track of the podcast when we're uploading topics, etc. And also we have an area on there where we can actually add in the final file because what was happening is I would download it and my desktop would be atrocious and then I can never find it again. So this has helped a lot. And then there's a document called MBT Big Picture Planning and this is a bunch of random stuff on it, like goals for the channel, ideas for merch, things that I really want to accomplish long-term, like hitting a million subscribers or building a team. And then there's also a section on here for ideas of experiences that I want to provide for MBT fam, which is this community. And if you want to be part of this community, you should definitely subscribe because we're trying to build the most wholesome tech community on YouTube. And if you decide that you hate us, you can always unsubscribe. It's a free decision, but so many things in the works for that. And then the last thing that I have on here is a storytelling journal, and I'm actually failing this one. This is my 2021 resolution. I wanted to write down a story every single day so I can remember my life a little bit better. Honestly, I've been like horribly inconsistent with it, but it is important to me. So I'm going to try to start doing it in March. Setting up a digital workspace on a computer is so hard because there's so many different applications and you're constantly downloading random files. It's much easier for me on my phone because I'm constantly switching my phone, like sometimes every single week or multiple times a week, depending on the time of year. So if you wanna see a phone that I recently switched to, you can check out my full review of the Pixel 4a, or you can watch another one of my videos right here about something else that YouTube thinks you're gonna like. Thanks so much for watching this one. I will catch you soon. Bye.